Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Ziegel Covert XT BCD, which is a wing style, kind of lightweight, but fairly rugged BCD. Uh, now obviously I'd love to have one in front of me to physically show you guys and girls, um, but they're all in our warehouse on the website. Uh, you can still buy them from the website if you want to, but I can't get my grubby little mitts on them. Um, so yeah, later on when I can get my hands on one, I will do another video of this showing you guys around the BCD and what everything does. Uh, but in the meantime, we do have some pictures and videos that we can show you of the BCD. So. It's a wing style BCD, the Covert XT. I don't really know what XT stands for, but it sounds kind of cool. Uh, so it's a wing style BCD, which I tend to prefer because I find they give you a, a nice like horizontal trim because all the positive buoyancy is on your back. Even if the, uh, the wing is fully inflated, it's not gonna squeeze you at all. You still have a full range of motion in your arms, even when it's fully inflated. Um, but yeah, it just keeps you in a nice position in the water. Taking a look at the uh, the BCD, so over your left hand shoulder you have the traditional corrugated hose that leads to your inflator. This is where the covert sort of starts to be a little different from a lot of other BCDs on the market. The, uh, the inflator, you can actually unscrew a collar and remove the inflator module uh, and that has a few benefits. The first thing is, is that you can clean your inflator really thoroughly so that salt crystals and verdigris and stuff doesn't build up on the inside. It also means that you can actually get to um, uh, you know, sort of fill the bladder of your BCD with water and wash that out properly without having to kind of messily put it in the uh, the oral inflation valve. Uh, you can actually get a, a hose adapter so you can attach just a garden hose to your inflator corrugated hose and um, and sort of flush out the um, the inside of the wing properly. Um, so there, yeah, that just makes life a lot easier. Um, and then, yeah, you just sort of screw it back on and uh, you're ready to go diving. Underneath the um, uh, the inflator hose, you have two plastic D-rings, so they're saving on the weight here. This is more designed for traveling, lightweight traveling, and um, and yeah, these small sort of low-profile D-rings give you something to clip things off onto if you need to, um, but they're not heavy and they're not particularly bulky, so they're not gonna get in the way. You have an adjustable chest strap, so uh, you've got a one-way adjustment and then a pinch clip release just to keep those shoulder straps in the right position. And then again, pretty traditional uh, pinch clips over both shoulders to keep those shoulder straps and adjust those. Moving down to the waist, this is another place where the uh, the Covert XT is a little bit different from other BCDs. It does have integrated weight pouches, um, but these are slightly different. Instead of having like a pinch clip release mechanism or kind of a, a pouch with a handle that you kind of yank on, this is, uh, I call it a gravity assist. So the, the overall pouch, you have a zipper along the top and then you put your lead in the top of this pouch and, uh, and then you zipper it closed. But if you ever need to ditch it in an emergency, there is a red handle, but you lift it up and then yank it down, and that actually undoes the bottom section of this uh, sort of pocket, and then the ledge just falls straight out of the bottom. So that way, there's no sort of complicated mechanism. You just kind of grab hold of this uh, sort of red handle, yank it down, and then the lead naturally just kind of slips out because it's heavy. Um, all around that, you have this molly section. So this is horizontal tabs of, uh, of nylon webbing, and, uh, and these are kind of sewn in, uh, in sort of sections. So you can attach things onto that uh, sort of waist section. You have D-rings and you've got some, some knife grommets where you can attach bits and bobs, but this molly system just allows you to add a, a sort of a greater range of molly uh, kind of systems. If you search for it, M-O-L-L-E, uh, you'll find all sorts of little pouches and things that you can start to attach onto your BCD. Turning the BCD around, uh, if you look at the uh, the bladder, what they've done is down at the bottom you have a elasticated uh, sort of webbing band, which naturally like sort of compresses the uh, the bladder. So when you're not fully inflated, it actually keeps the wing quite nice and tidy against your body. But they've also uh, sort of had a section of elasticated uh, material on the outside, that sort of outer shell, which in itself is kind of elasticated. So the entire thing um, is quite sort of elasticated so it keeps that bladder nice and neat and tidy. It can stretch when you need to inflate your BCD but then it kind of uh, sort of pulls it back in when you deflate it. 
And then the external shell of the, um, of the bladder is a bit more protective, so the nylon cordura material. You have two cam bands on the back, and these have new rubberized sections, so they are really gonna grab onto your tank and hold it in position, stop it from twisting and turning and sort of turning on the inside, uh, as well as slipping as well. You've got that rubberized section which really kind of hunkers down and grabs hold of it. And because you've got two cam bands, one over the other, it means your tank is less likely to kind of wiggle. So your tank really is attached onto your BCD. Your BCD is then attached to you. So as you move, the whole thing, the BCD and the tank is gonna move with you and it feels much more sort of natural and less likely that your, your tank's gonna be just feeling a little bit sort of janky on your back and just rolling around. On those cam bands, you're gonna have some trim weight pouches as well. So if you uh, sort of can't fit enough lead in your uh, weight pouches on your waist, or you want to move it a little bit higher up your back to improve your trim, you can put some lead in those trim pouches. Uh, the only thing is that they're not quick release, so don't put too much lead in. So all in all, this is a smart BCD. It's more designed for the traveling divers um, because it weighs very, very little. Um, but if you're just diving into the open blue water and it has enough lift for you, then yeah, you could dive this at home and abroad. Um, it's got some smart looks to it. It's got lots of sort of customization as well, especially with that Molly system. Uh, you can clip things off onto that. And um, yeah, it ticks a lot of boxes. It's more designed for, uh, for the traveling diver, as I say but uh, yeah it's still fairly tough so you could dive it at home as well this is the uh, the zeal covert xt bcd again as soon as i get my hands on ones i will get one in front of the camera to show you around the bcd uh, but for now head over to simplyscuba.com to check it out there'll be a link down in the description below thanks for watching and safe diving